All right, so I want to point some stuff out with the uh, with the tanks here. All right, so I'm going to use the Abrams because it's probably the 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 vehicle I use most in game. Um, just just a few inaccuracies in game. I think I don't think these are difficult fixes by any means. Again, uh, you know I'm a gamer. I'm not a, a software developer, so maybe these are a little more complicated. But I do want to point some stuff out. So I've set up a range here down at Batumi. Uh, ranges are marked, right? So I'll engage targets at 1K, 2K, and then these are a little beyond. Or, or excuse me, a little under 2,500 meters. So about you know 2,470. We'll see uh, in game. So uh, what I'd like to show you is a few things. So gun dispersion is a little off. All right. So the real life performance of uh, the Abrams, the M256, is an incredible piece of equipment. It is uh, it is definitely complemented by an incredible fire control system on the Abrams, uh, a gun sight that can reach out to 50 power. All right, 50 power power thermals, which is just incredible. Uh, we don't have that in game. I got it. Um, you know, it's not. It's a little immersion breaking, but it's not a game breaker. We could still use this faux M1A2, really an M1A1, uh, for all intents and purposes. But uh, we still use it. But what I wanted, I do want to display, is the gun dispersion. Now, not a game breaker at uh, at 1K or even 2K. 2,500 meters, it starts to get a little weird. We'll start. We'll see hits with uh, the ten vehicles that are out there. However, um, it's way off target. And the other thing I'd like to show you is uh, we have this weird gun bouncing that goes on whenever you're done firing. It's just uh, it's not something that exists in the Abrams. Uh, so I'm not sure if, if it's a bug or just something that was just overlooked and, and quite well could be. So here we go. Okay, so first things first is I shouldn't have to turn stabilization on, all right? So in the Abrams, the stabilization is always on. You can there's an emergency mode where you can where you can flip a bunch of switches and get it on if uh, you lose turret power, but that's generally not the case here. It's not modeled in DCS, so I really hope the developers pay attention. You just turn the stabilization on by default on the Abrams. Okay, and we're gonna do that, but there is a bug I've noticed. So we turn our stabilization on, jump to our commander's uh, hatch. I guess you could say, or, or just gun sight. We jump back, and the gunner has decided I do not want stabilization on. And that really shouldn't be the case. It just be on. So here we go. So our first target's out here. Like I said, we'll, we got some stuff out at 1,000 meters. So 982. And you'll notice something with most of the targets that I've seen here. Is we're, one, there's the gun bounce, there's the, the, the bouncing of the sights after firing. That should not be the case. The gun, the sights are not tied to the gun, it's independent, so it shouldn't be the case. But one thing you'll notice is that round was a little high, right? And uh, not so noticeable at a thousand meters, we're still gonna hit our target, but when you start engaging targets beyond, um, you know, 2,500 meters, really the, the bread and butter of the Abrams, you'll notice a high dispersion rate. And we're talking at that rate range, you're talking feet of dispersion now, and that is that is absolutely not the case with this uh, vehicle. So again, that one was a little high too. And again, you can see this gun jump. I'm not touching the controls at all. All right, I'm not touching the controls. It's this weird gun gun bounce after you fire. Target ceasefire. So pretty simple, right? We have our targets at 2K. Mast off to fix that. Yeah, so this is this is giving me a problem here. So I'm getting a bad laze for these guys. I'm not sure what's up with that. I have center mass, lazing, nothing. Tried on the, uh, the flank shot here, nothing. I, and I'll I'll see what's going on with that. Um, these are stationary targets. They're not actual vehicles. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll move on, we'll go right to left at these targets at 2,500 meters now, and this one is a little obstructed by some landing stuff. But that is a good laze there. It's a little short, a little short. I, in fact, I think I hit that, uh, the landing thing there. So about the same range on the way. 
And that was way high. So again, you know, when I showed you this at a thousand meters, we were hitting the target obviously because it's a it's a massive target at a thousand meters with the magnified gun sight. But there's dispersion, and this shouldn't be. All right, I'll engage this one again. Relays for 24, 74 on the way. And that's a good center mass hit right there. Target, ceasefire. All right, so we're at center mass. We're gonna laze. 24, 71 on the way. That's a good center mass hit. Okay. 24, 74 on the way. And that's way over. Why? Why is that way over? It's 2,400 meters, a little under 2,500 meters. This is the the perfect engagement range for an Abrams. This is the bread and butter, right? In real life, we say position your weapons at uh, two thirds your max effective range. This is it for the Abrams. This is where you want to be killing stuff, and this is just not the case. This is not how it works in real life. So I'll re-engage this one. Relay is no change on the way. And that's a good center mass hit there, and then, but we still have the gun bouncing, the sight bouncing, so I don't know what's going on with that. It's weird. It's very inaccurate. It shouldn't be. Okay. Not much of a change on the way. Yeah, that was a little short, if you saw that one. It was still a hit, which is nice, right? But, but again, weird dispersion on this gun. So we'll, we'll go to this flank one for the last one here. Center mass lays at 2484 on the way way over oh up and to the left uh, on that one way over so so yeah there's some problems here right uh, again I, I don't know how complicated this is to fix it I just hope we get a fix one day you know other issues too so you know switching to coax here you know in real life uh, you'd get a, a different reading so at a thousand meters we're still good That's not bad. Um, again, you know, 240 Charlie in real life is it's a sp an area uh, suppression weapon, but it's uh, it, it doesn't have a bad dispersion actually in real life. This this might be a little much. Not too bad. Um, what I would like to point out too, and and I, this is probably a little more complicated for DCS, but. Uh, in real life, you'll get a fault if you try to lay something outside the rain. So we know the max effective range of the 240 is about 1,100 meters, right? Tracer burnout at 900, but at 2,400, we should be... Well, let's see what it does. So it doesn't even uh, line the weapon up. And that's good. It'd just be nice if we got some kind of fault, right? There should be a little F. That The box you see at the bottom means we have a good targeting solution. It should it should flash an F and maybe I'm wrong on the coax. I know on the main gun it, that's how it works. So instead of you know for I think it was uh, these over here. So instead of just showing me five thousand, right, it should be showing me F for fault. It should flash zeros and show an F on the right side. Let's see what this does. I don't know what I expected. On that. But yeah, so some some problems here with the Abrams. Hopefully this is nothing too complicated. Maybe a little love. Uh, for the uh, for the co uh, combined arms module will go a really long way. It's definitely a module that I enjoy playing, right? Uh, you know, DCS is an incredibly powerful, uh, has an incredibly powerful game engine, right? You can fly planes, helicopters, and drive ground vehicles, and, and there's even some uh, naval support out there too. Um, incredibly powerful, unlike any other game out there, right? Arma comes close. Arma has the capacity for combined arms, but... Arma is definitely hamstrung by its uh, engine limitations, I'd say. Uh, combined Arms, or excuse me, uh, DCS is just a powerful game engine. Combined Arms rounds out the the C in DCS. Remember, digital combat simulator. It's not digital air simulator, right? There's people who want to play this on the ground. It's not just, I know the, the community is mostly flight simmers, but, but ground pounders want to play this too. We want to be in this, but there's got to be some fixes that go on. So. Hopefully we can see some fixes. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thanks.